Xgate works in two components. Uh, there's an email component which allows you to create emails offline and to read emails offline. You only go online to send emails to the server, receive emails that are in the server, and then disconnect. So you're only connected for the period of time required to transfer the mail. You're not connected to read the mail. You're not connected to compose the mail. Everything is done in batch offline. To actually get to the email client to read and create your emails, you would click on the email icon on the toolbar. First thing that comes up is a language selection. Um, so you have all these languages to choose from. So I'm gonna choose English. It's then gonna ask you if you wanna be the default email client for the computer. The answer is yes or no, depending on what you want. What this means to the end user is that if they happen to have a web link that they click on in some other application, it'll bring up this particular client if it's the default. So I'm gonna say for this particular installation, yes, and never ask me again. This is the email client that comes bundled in with Xscape. It's pre-configured to work out of the system. You'll see a nice little welcome message, which is gonna describe the procedure that I'm gonna go through right now. To create a new email, I say email, and I'll send this to test to myself, to test at gmn-usa.com. Hello. If I have any attachments, I can go ahead and click on the attachment here, and then actually uh, just go attach a file. And then when I'm ready, I hit send. Now, send doesn't actually send the email over the satellite link. It sends the email to Xgate. So uh, it's kind of a, a little, this causes a little of confusion because the email clients are sending the messages to Xgate. Xgate basically quarantines or queues those up for transmission at a later date. So I can do as many of these as I want, but I'm telling another one to myself. There is an address book, and you can access the address book by clicking on the little dot, dot, dots there. Test two, send. Okay, I now have two email messages that I can actually send. I'm done. At this point, I can bring up Xscape by clicking on the Xscape icon on the toolbar. Or I can just uh, go down to the system tray and bring up Xscape by clicking on the little mailbox. Or I can double click on the Xscape icon on the desktop. So there's three different ways to get back to Xscape. Um, one thing that I want you to notice is down here in the system tray, bottom right hand corner, you'll see that there's a mailbox there and the flag is going up and down in the mailbox. What that means is that means that there's mail pending to go out. Uh, normally that little mailbox would have its flag down if there's no mail going out. And that's just a reminder to you that there's mail pending to go out and that you should hit the go button in order to send those mail messages. So if I hit the start button now, I will go ahead and send those mail messages. I just want to show you one thing. There's an icon here called spool. If you click on that, you'll actually see the messages that are pending to go out. These are the raw messages that were sent by the email client. If I double click on them, I can see that this is my raw message that's been queued up and ready to go. So I'm gonna hit the start button, and now we're gonna go through the process of communicating with the device. It just takes it a minute here. You'll notice also, if you have experience with access point Wi-Fi, that this particular optimizer is a lot faster at actually establishing the connection to the network than, uh, than the access point Wi-Fi device. So. In a minute here, we'll see our dialing sequence. So here it is, now we're dialing our iSat phone. And uh, it'll take a minute for that to uh, actually connect, send and receive the message, and then disconnect. Okay, so we're 10 seconds into our connection. We still have another 30 seconds before we're actually connected to the network and we can actually start sending our, mail, our messages. It takes the iSat phone about 40 to 50 seconds to get connected. And then once connected, um, it transfers. It'll do about eight emails, text emails, two to five kilobytes. That's, uh, I don't know, two typewritten pages per email in about a minute. And so there we go. Um, I've actually sent my two messages. I've received a message, which was one of the messages that I sent myself. And then I've disconnected. And so now um, that I'm done. Uh, the, the phone is actually off hook. I can click on the email client. Uh, that's all there's to it. So we've basically now sent two emails and received two emails. Pretty straightforward.